We continue our discussion on progressive multifocal LASIK with the co-founder of Gordon Binder and Weiss, ophthalmologist Dr. Jack Weiss. Dr. Weiss explains the PML procedure he performed on their optometrist, Dr. Mick Tartaglia. The procedure that I performed on Dr. Tartaglia is a new LASIK procedure that we're calling PML. And what it is, is it's a procedure that allows the individual to see both distance and near. So it's taking laser procedures that we've done before and combining them in a new way to allow depth of focus so that after the procedure, he's able to see very well in the distance, but also have that depth of focus to see up close as well. I have been wearing bifocals for many years, and it got to the point where I couldn't read virtually anything without glasses. I could still see well at distance, but I started finding myself, even for driving, wearing my glasses, even for watching TV, wearing my glasses. And of course, part of my job is, is talking with the doctors, the optometrists, and the physicians who refer patients to us for LASIK surgery. And we started doing our procedure, the PML, as we call it. And I would do post-op exams on the people having the surgery. And virtually everybody was thrilled. They would come in one day after they had surgery and they were reading a newspaper. And then I would see them two weeks and then even a month or two months later. And they would walk in with the biggest grins on their faces our office manager, who's been a longtime friend of mine, just had surgery, and I did her one-day post-op not long ago, and she was, she was just so thrilled, and I said, it's time. I have, to, I have to seriously consider this. And I went home and talked to my wife and just decided that this is what I want to do, and, and I'm, I'm excited, and I expect it to be the results to be excellent. Initially, it's a two-step procedure. In the first part of the procedure, we're creating the flap. So what we do is put a small suction ring on the eye, and it holds the eye still and allows a laser that is preset by me with a computer with a precise depth and size of a flap. That's done with the first laser. Then after that's done, and that procedure is very brief, once we put the suction ring on, it's on for about a minute with each eye. Then we take and move the patient into a second room, which has the eczema laser. The eczema laser is the laser that actually puts in the prescription and the treatment for the patient. So we get to bring them in the second room, get everything set up, and then in that room, I gently lift the flap that was created in the first room and do the procedure and then put the flap back down. Most of the time is spent getting the flap back down. The procedure itself is very brief with the laser. Then I spend a lot of time getting the flap back in perfect position afterwards. But it was very non-traumatic. That I, I thought it might be more bothersome. I thought I would be a little harder to get around, but I got up and of course one of the techs had, had her arm I mean, she said, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure you do okay. I expected it to be easy, but it was actually easier than I thought. What was interesting to me is that at the end of the surgery, we have uh, eye shields that are taped onto your eye. They're clear plastic, but they're still curved plastic and non-optical quality. And of course, then there's tape across. But when I got up and stood up in front of the group there that was watching the surgery, somebody put something in front of me and I was able to, I was able to read a, a label, I think it was. I, I was impressed. I, I was impressed with that. 